Greetings Hive fans and welcome to another video where I help you play Hive like the champion. I've been having people request videos based on classic Hive with no expansions, videos designed specifically for beginners. So this game was played at Board Game Arena between two relatively new players, Brewcheck and WooWoo93. It was recommended to me and I thought it was a very good example of two beginners learning to play Hive. In my book, Play Hive Like a Champion, I mentioned six basic uh, elementary mistakes made by most beginners. Let's see how many of those six show up in this game. As always, I've taken the game, played at Board Game Arena, and replayed it at BoardSpace.net, because BoardSpace.net is definitely the best place for game review on the internet. So let's go ahead and get started. Both players open with grasshoppers, which is a good opening bug. Many beginners start with a spider, thinking that it's the weakest piece, should be used very early. But most uh, top players will not start with a spider. White plays an ant, black plays a spider, and then both, pe both players bring in their queens. And here is the first of six beginner's mistakes. In the chapter, Beginner's Mistakes, section 8.5, Failure to Defend Your Queen. And if you notice, both players played their queens in line, as compared to in elbow, and only one good defending bug. A defending bug is a bug that can jump out when it's completely surrounded. Each have a grasshopper, but other than that, a white spider, oh, I'm sorry, a white ant and a black spider. So that's the first. The white ant pins the black spider, and here is another common mistake. This is what Joe Schultz in his book, Canon of Hive Groundwork, refers to as a false pin. The elbow pin, when this space gets filled, the black spider is free to move. If, however, the white ant had pinned from here, it would be a true pin, and would not, the black spider would not have the ability to jump out or move out later. Black plays another spider. Second of six beginner's mistakes. Wasting tempo with your queen. With the black spider threatening to attack, the white queen wastes the tempo to move into the position it should have started at in the elbow pin. White begins the attack with a beetle, and it immediately gets pinned by the black ant. Good use of an ant. Has two white bugs, a white ant and a white beetle pinned. Another white ant comes in, a black ant, and the white ant attacks. Now, this is another third basic mistake by beginners. And it's once been said that Surrounding your opponent's queen is not the goal of Hive. That's just how you win. And here's a perfect example. White attacks the queen. After all, winning requires you to surround the black queen. But white had a better option here of pinning the black ant-black spider combination. The black spider is in a kill spot next to the black queen. The white ant could have taken advantage and pinned to black ants. So the next beginner's mistake, misusing your ants. In this case, failing to pin the opposing ant. The black ant attacks. This is not mentioned in my book in Elementary Mistakes, but this is a very informative uh, location for this white beetle to spawn. Notice it spawns and the black spider immediately pins it. Let's go back to here. If, however, the white beetle would have spawned here, then the black spider would not have been able to pin it. Another ant comes in, black grasshopper, and the white ant, again, instead of defending, it does elect to attack. 
and the black grasshopper attacks. Here's another interesting situation here. The white spider comes in. It does not have an angle of attack. This white ant will have to move in order for the spider to have an angle of attack. And again, black brings in another ant rather than spending a tempo to swing this ant around, pinning the white spider. If pinned from this point, it would also reduce this spot as a spawn point so the white beetle stays pinned as well. So black misused the ants again. And white takes advantage of that, pins the black ant, and at the same time opens up an angle of attack for the white spider to attack. Very informative here on white pinning from this spot. You may ask why not do a inline pin here, but white in this position also places a block on this kill spot. So that was a good choice of pinning by the white ant. Black grasshopper comes in, the white spider attacks. Another elementary mistake. The black grasshopper has two choices, can attack to this spot or attack to that spot. Possibly thinking that the white ant blocked that spot, that might be the most critical spot, but when black attacks that spot, the white queen escapes. Allowing your opponent's queen to escape, another elementary mistake. Followed immediately by still another elementary mistake, making a ring. Of course, many of the top players know exactly how to use a ring to their benefit. But when you make a ring, you have to look at what opponent's bugs are freed by the ring. In this case, two white bugs are free, either the grasshopper or the queen. White takes advantage of this, moves the queen, breaking the ring leaving a bunch of black bugs pinned. Rather than attacking, black swings around and pins the white ant. A very good choice. Good use for the black ant. White ant shifts over, no doubt, in order to bring in the grasshopper to attack. But again, the white grasshopper spawns with an attack line of attack to this spot, which would free the spider. If the white grasshopper would have attacked this spot, then would not free the spider when it finally attacked. And the white grasshopper attacks, the black spider is free, but there's no white bug available to take the kill shot. So the black beetle climbs up atop the white ant, freeing the black ant. And when the grasshopper comes in, the black ant pins it. And now the spider vacates the kill spot. And the second black beetle comes in. White spins a, a tempo to move away from the two black attacking bugs. White now has five of the six bugs attacking the Black Queen, but no white bug available to take that final kill shot. And the Black Beetle moves forward. And again, white forms a ring, which is a bad ring because the Black Grasshopper breaks the ring, and now the Black Queen is free to move as well. Black Queen moves away, White Grasshopper jumps, Black Grasshopper jumps, and finally, the last of six elementary mistakes. White is forced to jump the Grasshopper, and when the black grasshopper moves, white is now shut out. White has no legal moves and must pass. 
The black beetle moves forward to cover the white queen. The black ant attacks, temporarily gives white mo movement, but as soon as the white grasshopper jumps, the black queen immediately puts the shutout in place again. Now black does show good in-game technique here, because notice black has two kill spots to fill. Grasshopper to, can attack this one. The beetle can attack that one. But when either of these spots are filled, the white ant here would be free. So black must come up with some method to keep that white ant in play. And he does that with the black spider. Now, we go back here. This white beetle probably should have climbed atop the black spider to keep the black spider from doing what it's about ready to do. Black spider moves around. When it gets to this point, now the white ant is blocked in. Wasted tempo here by black, but it doesn't really matter. Nothing white can do. The beetle takes the setup shot, and the black ant takes the kill shot. Congratulations to Woo Woo 93. That's Wojtek Wozniak. He was the one that recommended I take a look at this game and replay it, and it definitely is a good one for beginners because it shows all six elementary mistakes made by beginners. And if you uh, take a look at my book, Play Hive Like a Champion, there is a chapter devoted to that, The Elementary Mistakes. Let's review them one at a time. Misusing your ants, allowing the queen to escape, making a ring, wasting tempo in the opening, failing to defend your queen, and allowing a shutout. An excellent game for beginners to review to learn from. Thank you, Wojtek, for recommending this game. I apologize if my pronunciation is not real good. He's from Poland, and of course, I don't speak any Polish. So I appreciate it. As always, I'm here helping you play Hive Like a Champion. Looking forward to the next video as well. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Randy Ingersoll signing out.